What is up everyone? This is your boy Sonic57053 here at the bus festival. Sorry if I sound a bit tired right now, but I sort of overslept and I had to rush all my way through here. So yeah, this place looks a bit different than how I remember since 2019. And this whole lot was turned into a park, but it was still possible by the transit museum themselves to host the bus festival yeah. right in this location either way just as long as they're careful but yeah so we've got a lot of buses right now but the one that i'm willing to see the most is the rts which as you know as an early 2000s kid oh look there it is as you know as an early 2000s kid, I grew up with the RTS from 2006 all the way to 2019 when they retired, so yeah. So without further ado, enjoy this special video and yeah. Okay, so what we have here is a 1971 GMC Fishbowl or GMC Blitz. This over here um, was built in 1971, I believe. I'm not sure, but yeah, it was built in 1971. Then it was rebuilt in 1985 for some sort of improvement program. And fun fact, um, not only did New York City Transit rebuild these buses, but other transit authorities within the United States also rebuilt these fishbowls into the blitzes, such as Detroit, uh, this is California, the, this is the update. California, I believe. I'm not sure. The only one that I'm familiar with is Detroit right now and Chicago. But yeah, these lasted until 1995 when they were replaced by the Orion 5s. By 1993, all the way until 1996, the Orion 5s and possibly the RTSs retired the last of these fishbowls and blitzes. And these were the last non-wheelchair accessible buses to ever run in service. So I'm sure everyone knows what So I'm sure everyone knows what this is. This here is a 1993 TMC RTS and this is a Jamaica Bus Lines RTS. Everyone knows what this is. I'm guessing that everyone that grew up with these um, are familiar with the ones from New York City Transit, but this here is from the private bus lines. To give a short history of these buses since there will be a review coming out soon. Um, they were built around 1993 and 94 and these were the first ones to ever feature the Series 50 and not the 6092 engine. Um, the private bus lines that received these RTSs are Queen Surface, Green Lines, Jamaica Bus, and Triborough Coach. They also received extra RTSs, such as the CNGs, which those were only exclusive to Command and Triborough. And, they also, and Triborough Coach received an extra supply, well not a supply, but an extra set of RTSs that were methanol powered. Those ran until they were repowered by 2001 and 2002, I believe. All of these RTSs would be retained by the MTA by 2006 and they would all be scouted throughout other depots such as JFK, Far Rockaway, LaGuardia, and Baisley Park. And by 2009, these RTSs would be retired and they would be replaced by the Orion 7 Next Gens, uh, an extra supply of RTSs from New York City Transit, and they would also be replaced by the X B Line Orion 5s that were retired by B Line in 2009. I gotta say, it's good to see this private line RTS for 15 years. The last time I ever seen these was back in 2008, I believe, when Triborough, not Triborough, when LaGuardia Depot still had those 
RTSs with the red stripe. So yeah. I'm sure everyone misses the RTS, especially with the Series 50. Okay, so what you have here now is a 1969 GM, not GM, sorry, flexible new look, number 4727. This was built the same year as, sorry, this was built the same year as the R42s that were built back in 1969. And these carry the signature light blue, dark blue, and silver paint scheme. And I must say that this is a pretty good bus. This unit was actually repainted recently, I think, because there's another unit that has the same paint scheme. I think it was 73 something. This used to be green before it was repainted recently. And these ran until I think the early 80s or late 80s. Because these will be replaced by the GMC and older TMC RTSs. And they did not receive the, the blue and white paint scheme. Their younger sisters did, but they were, re they were built in, I'd say, later on in the 70s. And they were numbered in the 9000 series before, you know, in 1996 when the RTSs would take over the numbers back when they would be retired under the RTSs themselves. By the early 90s, all the way until the 2000s, there were no more fishbowls. The only fishbowls that were still to exist were the ones for the private lines, but the last one retired in 2005 or 2006 when New York Bus Service was taken over by the MTA. Now is East Chester Depot. So I see that this bus doesn't have any mileage in here or anything. I'm guessing that this hasn't ran in a long time. But if it were to run for a long time, I'd say that this had like around more than 500,000 miles. I'm not sure. So it doesn't have any mileage meters or anything like that. Nothing too special. Nothing too special here. Basically the whole exterior is the same. Uh, yeah. The whole thing is the same. Alright, so this one is an old but good bus. This is a um, 1956 GMC old look, number 3100. And this bus was probably the first bus to ever have the air conditioning unit on the back. This thing was pretty old until you know, when GMC discontinued these around the late 50s to early 60s, I believe. I'm not familiar with these buses, so I'm, I might get my information wrong. So, anyways, these would run all the way until either the late 70s or early 80s. But like I said, these would be replaced by fishbowls and possibly the RTSs. I'm not sure, because I wasn't born around the 70s. Alright everyone, so what we have here now is a 1950s GM New Look number 2969. And this bus was driven by the legendary late Jackie Gleason for the TV show The Honeymooners. We are not sure when this show ended, but this bus has been an icon for many years and there's a depot that's been renamed after him. And fun fact, there is a reboot of The Honeymooners, but it's been remade as a film starring Cedric the Entertainer. And they used an Orion 5, number 456, and it had the Manhattanville Depot logo on, on the bus itself. It was only used for the intro for The Honeymooners, but this over here is way different than the Orion 5. This one was legendary. This one was driven by the late Jackie Gleason himself. He passed away somehow in 1987. And in 1988, the Fifth Avenue Depot in Brooklyn was renamed into the Jackie Gleason Depot in for, for basically as a tribute to him. So, I must say that this color is beautiful. I'm actually a fan of green, so, you know. 
this color right over here, dark green or whatever it's called. This, this is actually like my favorite. You know, like, if they were to put this paint scheme on an RTS or if they were to put this on an Excelsior or anything like that, uh, who knows? It's a sort of a cursed idea, but what do you expect? It's just a bus, right? <laughs> okay, this here is a 1959 GMC fishbowl number 100. The first fishbowl, well not the first built, but the first fishbowl for New York City Transit Authority. And... New York City Transit Authority ordered these all the way from 1959 all the way until the late, the early 70s. And these were sort of the symbol by that time, during that era, because you would mostly see the fishbowls everywhere, like in movies, TV commercials, or any other stuff like that, you know? So, these fishbowls, the early, the early 60s, they would last around, I'd say, the late 70s to early 80s. And like I said with the GMC Blitz, these would be, these would last all the way until the 80s to 90s. The GMC Fishbowl would be discontinued by 1986 when Santa Monica ordered their last fleet of fishbowls. And these fishbowls from 1986 from Santa Monica would be retired by around 2006 to 2009, I believe. I'm not sure if I got that information right, but these fishbowls were the icon for older fanners. And I'm pretty sure these would mostly be seen on movies, commercials, like I said before. And fun fact, 100 was actually featured in the Joker movie. The one featuring Joaquin Phoenix. This, along with along with two more fishbowls that were painted in green, were featured in the Joker movie, which you would see in a couple of shots. And I gotta say, you know, I gotta give props to to the movie directors that made the Joker movie. It was a good idea for them to add these instead of just using a, a typical RTS. Probably to give it the more 70s and 80s look for the movie. Alright everyone, what you have here is a 2019 to 2020 um, New Flyer XD, XE60 electric. This is one of the currently new buses and this unit right over here has been shown everywhere. Like on a parade or a commercial or at an auto show. Basically everywhere. And that's because this is the only existing electric articulated bus to ever exist. This was built around 2019 and 2020 exclusively for Michael J. Quill Depot since it's the only depot in Manhattan to have electric buses. <clears throat> Recently they gave a... They sort of retired but not retired they returned their xe40 demos number 004 number 0013 to 0016 i believe we're expecting more electrics and luckily um a couple of the new xe40s have been built we're not sure when they're going to arrive Fun fact about this bus is that back in 2019, Flatbush Depot received an XE60 demo by New Flyer themselves, and they put it on the B44, but not for service, basically like for testing to see how it would perform. So after the 30-day test from April 18th all the way to, I think, May 18th? I'm not sure. Basically after the test, it would be sent back to New Flyer and it would make its way to other TAs like Washington, uh, Maryland, basically other parts of the state. This is my first time seeing an electric bus for the first time. Well, this is my first time seeing an, an electric articulated because back in 2019, I did ride the Proterra BE4 and it was on the Q58 a couple of times when Grand Avenue was still operating on the 58 before it returned to Fresh Pond. <clears throat> Sorry for my voice here. 
My apologies, but anyways, yeah. Let's see if we can check the mileage on this thing. I'm not sure if it has too much. Hang on for it. Okay, let's see the mileage on this thing. Sorry. Let's see the mileage on this thing. Okay, this doesn't, this has a lot of mileage, but not too much. The interior is pretty much the same as the XD60s. And uh, so we're not sure when New York City Trans is expecting to get more XE60s or XE40s, but um, luckily, if I'm correct, Jamaica is expecting to receive some as well. We're not sure when, but that's all I have to say. Okay, so last but not least, we have a 1930s yellow, um, yellow bus. I don't know the model name, but to give you just at least a tiny bit of history, this was one of the very first double-decker buses to run in service until the 1950s. We're not sure um, what routes because the, the Q routes, the B routes, basically every route weren't established until the early 60s or 70s. I don't know, but <clears throat> this was the first double-decker bus to ever exist until the 50s. New York City Transit has tried their very best to run double-deckers. In 2008, they ran a Van Hool Astro bus on the X-17J, but it was deemed to be too tall for the Lincoln Tunnel. Then in, before that, in the 1970s, they ran a British bus. They ran a Leyland. Um, they ran two. There was a red and blue one, but they ran them only on the local routes since they weren't that big to be used for express routes. We're not sure what happened to them, but the, the Leyland buses were floundered, so... They didn't pass the test. Then in 2018, when Andy Byford was um, president of the MTA by that time, I've been told by a friend of mine, I'm not sure, that you know he wanted to introduce the double-decker bus since Andy Byford was from England, so I guess he wanted to introduce that, or maybe the MTA wanted to test something new. The Alexander Dennis was very longer, but it was also deemed too tall for the Lincoln Tunnel since it ran on the X-17J. It was removed from service after its testing and it was now sent to GO Transit, so hopefully that bus is doing fine, but <clears throat> you know. This is the only piece of evidence that ever existed since um, the Transit itself ran double-deckers way before then. So yeah. That's all, that's all the buses I can introduce you to.